Guys, I just couldn't help myself. Merry Christmas. I said no video today, but I looked something up online and I had to dive deep into it. Good morning, guys. We're gonna be talking about Molin stock. This is gonna be a quick video and it's really gonna be about institutional buying. And my question is, are these institutions lending out shares of Molin for people to short? That is the question of the day. But the interesting thing is, institutions are buying Molin, which is a great sign in the long run. And my theory on it is why would institutions buy? They may be buying to lend shares out to short a company, but in the long run, why would these two big institutions be buying Molin stock if it was not here to stay? Guys, of course, grab your coffee. Here's mine. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys have been amazing. We are this close to 900 subscribers. We are almost to a thousand. I wanna ask a favor. Do you think we could get this video over 300 likes? It's Christmas. Let's make it happen. I wanna put money in your pocket, especially today and before the new year. So you have till December 31st, 20 free shares of Google. Click the link below, sign up for Webull. You don't even have to put in any money. So the two big firms that I'm talking about is BlackRock and Vanguard, okay? So they have opened and increased positions of their Molin holdings. You can see right here, the two firms purchased a combined 28.29 million shares of Molin stock. BlackRock picked up 18.41 million shares of Molin Automotive during the third quarter. Vanguard purchased 9.88 million shares, increasing its existing position by 77%. So why did they do this? Is it to lend it out? to short Molin stock? Maybe, maybe not. But what about the long run? Like, do you really think BlackRock and Vanguard would get into a stock just to lend it out? Or do you think there's something bigger here? Let's look at what Elon Musk was saying about BlackRock. This was in October of 2018. Elon Musk accuses BlackRock of helping short sellers. So check this one out. BlackRock made 597 million in short lending last year. So is BlackRock lending out Molin stock? Is Vanguard lending out Molin stock? It doesn't matter. And I'm gonna tell you why. In 2018, at this time, Tesla, was trading sideways basically. No one knew if they were going to be a successful company or if they were just going to be another Rivian. From when these articles came out, now you're not gonna like this, but a little over 500 days later, from October 2018, Tesla rose almost 300%. Okay, 500 days, so that's over a year, but it rose almost 300%. A little over 600 days later, Tesla rose over 800%. So are these institutions lending shares out to short for Molin stock? Maybe, okay? And that's probably why we see a lot of short selling going on. Now, I'm not saying Molin is going to be the next Tesla, but what I am saying is during this time in 2018, Tesla was already in production, okay? And people were attacking Tesla. So what do you think is gonna happen when Molin starts production? The day we hear news about Molin in production, you can expect this stock to go up. Guys, of course, nothing I say is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I am just telling you what I am looking into and what I have been researching and really my thought process on this company. So we are at the very early stages of Molin becoming a successful EV company. The reason I'm so bullish on Mullen is because of all the good news, the partnerships, the deals, the new hires, okay? Everything that's been going on it is part of the process to get into production. So you really think Mullen can't double your money right now with where we're sitting at? Not only double your money, but what happens when we get into production? The only reason people are bears on this company is because they believe that we will not be in production. They're putting fear into retail and hedge funds are making more and more money every single day. So what is BlackRock and Vanguard's plan in the long run? How big do they want their portfolio? Let's look at their portfolio for Mullen stock right now. Guys, don't forget to check out the Patreon. We only have, that already sold out, we only have three spots left for this next tier for $6. Once this sells out, it's gonna go up, okay? But congratulations to all of you. We actually got to 27 patrons so far. We have an awesome community, so join if you want.
Let's get into the article. A number of large investors have recently bought and sold shares of Molin. BlackRock boosted its holdings in Molin Automotive by 233% in the third quarter. BlackRock now owns 26 million shares of the company's stock valued at 8.6 million after purchasing an additional 18 million shares during the period. Okay, so why is BlackRock doing this? Do you really think that they're portfolio worth $8.6 million is not going to go up from here. Do you think they would even hold this stock if they didn't believe that this company would be successful one day? Why would they? What is the point? BlackRock is the largest institution out there. Why would they even dabble in Molin for a petty little $8.6 million unless they saw huge potential with this company? That's just my thought process. Vanguard Group boosted its stake in Molin Automotive by 77% in the third quarter. Vanguard Group now owns 22 million shares of the company's stock valued at 7.4 million after acquiring an additional 9.8 million shares in the last quarter. So again, same question, why would Vanguard do this? They don't need to. There's no reason to invest in these companies unless they saw huge potential. And then we have other institutions that we know are lending shares out to be shorted right now. But that's the question is BlackRock and Vanguard, why are they mulling? What is the point of them buying into this company right now? My thought process is Mullen is like a Tesla, okay? I'm not saying it is Tesla. I'm saying there is a lot of potential with Mullen stock. So my risk to reward ratio right now is very low for holding Mullen stock, especially at where we're at price-wise. There's just too much good news, guys. There will be a lot of fear in this market. There will be more shorting. There might be more dilution in the future, especially if they pass proposal one and two for a reverse stock split and issuing more shares. There might be all of this. That's why I say have your long-term bag that you're not even gonna touch and then have a trading bag because there's going to be opportunities to accumulate more Molin stock. And that's just the truth. I'm very excited about this stock. There will be great news over these next three weeks before the next meeting, January 19th but you need to be smart. The stock is very risky. You definitely gotta do your own research and do what's best for you. Guys, like and subscribe if you got some value out of this video. Have a great Christmas, have a great New Year's, and we'll see you on the next one.